Data structures are the most important concepts when it comes to programming as it is important to understand how data is stored and how to apply different algorithms to data structures to manipulate data how we want. So in this video we will try to understand some basic types of data structures and get you started on your data structure journey. Also I won't go into much details about algorithms for these data structures as if I did it would turn out into a several hour long data structures and algorithms course. Arrays or list. The first and the most basic data structures we are going to cover are arrays or list if you are in python land. Arrays are just collection of elements that are stored in fixed order and can be accessed by their index which starts with zero. The elements are stored in continuous memory location so that they are easily accessible. There are mainly three types of arrays. One dimensional array, two dimensional array and n dimensional arrays. One dimensional arrays are stored using one dimension. Like all the elements are arranged on the x axis where the axis starts from zero and we can access the elements using the position on the x axis. Like zero will get us to the first element and one will get us to the second element and so on. Similarly in two dimensional array imagine the y axis and the elements along the y axis should be accessed first using the two square brackets for individual access. So here the elements will correspond to the position on their axis and the data is stored in the form of a spreadsheet. We can add as many dimensions as we like. For the third dimension the z axis will be added but visualizing the dimension is going to be difficult as you will need the eyesight for to the fourth dimension and look beyond time and space. But it wouldn't be possible for a person like you and me who just sits in front of his computer all day. Link list. Imagine a train with a collection of cars linked together. Each train car is called as a node and each node holds two things, an item or a value and a reference to the next train car. Just like in a train where each car is connected to the next, each node is connected to the next in a link list. There are various types of link lists but the important ones that you should know are singly link list, doubly link list and circular link list. Singly link list. Each node contains a reference to the next node which forms a linear structure that you can traverse only from the head to the tail. Or if you can take the train for an example, you can only travel from the engine of the train to the end and you have to get data you want after visiting each and every train car. The last node of the list points to none. Doubly link list. Each node contains data and two references to the next node and the previous node. So you can travel on both the sides of the list to the previous as well as next node. So imagine you can't go to the previous car train in the singly link list but visit each car train only once and the doors to the previous are closed and you cannot go back. Well the doors are open now and you can go to the previous car train if you want it. Circular link list. The problem with singly link list is that when you reach the end of the list and try to access the next value it returns null and we cannot access the next value. Circular link list solves the problem by including a reference to the head node at the end of the list so when you try to access the next node on the last node you will get the reference to the head node. Also we can't imagine that as we cannot bend a train while connecting the engine and the last train car. But we can imagine you reaching the end of the train and then the engine part magically appear at the end. Stacks A stack is a fundamental and linear versatile data structure that operates based on the last in first out LIFO principle. It is an abstraction that mimics the behavior of the real world stack like a tower of books or plates where you can only access the item on the top of the stack. Q. Q is a data structure that works based on the first if first out principle. It can be best described using a real life analogy of a ticket line in a movie theater. When people wait in line to buy tickets, the person who joins the line first gets to buy the ticket first and then the second person and so on. Similarly in a queue data structure, the first element gets inserted into the queue is the first to be removed. This means if you add elements A, B, C, D to the queue in that order, then you re remove elements from the queue, you will always get A first, then B, then C, and finally D. Conclusion 
I know I haven't covered a lot of data structures in this video as my college is going to start soon and I have covered all the data structures that are important for the syllabus. Make the videos you wanna watch, right? Yeah, so follow me on OnlyFans. Oh, sorry. X. <laughs> also, thanks for watching till the end and make sure you subscribe.